Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up it scans his ground. As Donna and Steffi oppose his decision. It's time to say goodbye moment on the bold and the beautiful Hope supports Thomas. Steffi and Donna take on Ridge and Ridge makes a protestation. At the sanitarium. Finn tells Ridge he has the medical power of attorney and will have to make the decision. Do they go all out to save Eric or transfer him to comfort care and let him go? Or Ridge says, I love my powder so much, too important to put him through all of this. We have to Donna let him look go. affrighted. Ridge tells Finn that what he's suggesting is experimenting on his powder and there are no guarantees. Steffi and Brooke argue that there's a chance he could pull through. Donna intones, I'm soliciting you. However, if I love my father, is that what you said? He tells Finn he does not want to put him through presently pain. I want him to go peacefully if you love your father, Ridge snaps. It's Dostadali. In Eric's sanitarium room, he's hooked up to a breathing machine at Forrester. Zanae asks if there's anything from Thorne or Bridget. Hope says not yet and they need to give them some time. Zen feels they're being left in the dark. Carter argues that they're not in the dark. And for all they know, he could still be alive. Hope reminds them that Bridget advised there wasn't Hunter much they could do that. He'll fight until there's no fight left in him. Thomas intones T.E. unless there's no fight left in him. Thomas Hope Gibele looks at Eric's rear ormost sketches and sensations about his genius. Hope says his work and his heritage will live on. Carter Kanani stop allowing about the delicate position Ridge could find himself in with the medical power of attorney. In the sanitarium, Donna smothers that Finn is offering Eric a way out and Ridge is refusing to indeed consider it. Steffi agrees. They should be fighting for him. They cannot just let him die. Gridge argues that he didn't want any extraordinary means to extend his life. Donna is forced to admit that's true. She begs him not to let this be the end of his father. Please, Steffi shakes her head and cries. Gash is well tea. up in Ridge's At Forrester D's, Carter confirms to Thomas that Eric no way bandied the medical power of attorney with Ridge. Thomas muses that he was concentrated on living, not... He respects the hell out of him for that. But he can't sound his father, having to decide whether his forefather lives or dies. Zend hollers that they can't let let him go. Hope argues it has to be a fulfilling life that Eric would want to live. Having this sanitarium room. Eric breathes on the ventilator. In the corridor, Steffi asks Finn if he thinks he can save her forefather. Finn says Ridge is right in that the treatment is experimental, but he believes this could make a change in Eric. He's been working on this ever since he set up out about Eric's opinion. He'd be giving them all false stopgap if he told them this would give Eric the quality of life he was veritably to. specific about the quality of life he wanted. Donna asks if he'll just stand there and play God by deciding if Eric gets to live or die. Ridge gets that she's agonized. He'd like to just go home and have a martini with his father. He doesn't have a voice, but he gave him a voice. I do not want this for him. I know this is hard, not just for you. I want him to go. I do not want him to be in pain presently, he cries. Gashes stream from Steffi's eyes and Donna holds her head in her hands. Rich BMB, Steffi tells her pater that she hears what he's byword. No bone wants granddad to suffer. But suppose about Finn and me we were shot and left to die. Ridge says it's not the same thing. Don argues that he has a chance. Brooke interjects that this is delicate for Ridge. Ridge he's in a delicate he's going position. in to see his pater you. In the Forrester office, Thomas says the office was where Eric erected his conglomerate and made his mark. They find his store of jelly sap. And partake a laugh as Zen says he's no way seen him as proud as when he won the fashion challenge and got back behind his office. Carter tells Zen how proud his forefather is of hurt him. Thomas tells Carter he's proud of him too. Carter reflects that none of them want to lose him. Ridge enters Eric's sanitarium room, followed by Brooke, Donna, Steffi, and Finn. Ridge says it's not right that he has all of these tubes coming out of him. Dad wouldn't want this. He flashes to Eric telling him to promise that when the time comes, he'll let him go naturally and peacefully. He says, it's time. It's time to easy. Say In the office, as Thomas looks at a print of Eric, Hope tells him that Eric will always be special to her, but he's his forefather. I know how delicate this must be for you. Thomas says that since he said about his forefather was dying, it didn't feel real. This is too soon. Hope says it always is when it's someone you love. Thomas knew no way misdoubted. Whether he loved him or wanted the stylish for him, and now he might not be around. Hope knows it's not the same, but you have me. I am then for you, Thomas. They kiss and embrace. Hope Thomas Baby in Eric's sanitarium room. 
Donna tells Eric, you were so strong and you were such a fighter. I'm going to fight for you because you she can't fight for Ridge. yourself right now. Broke isn't sure she agrees with Ridge on this, but he's trying to do what he feels is stylish for his father. Donna smothers, do not you tell me what's stylish for Eric? Do not you dip in with him to into SLAA? Sicky, I've been for months. For a month, I know what he'd want. He'd want to be with his family. He'd want to be then right now with us. He'd want to finish his collection with RJ. That's what he'd want. Steffi says, Dad, I suppose Donna's right. I suppose that's what Granddad would want. Ridge says Donna is right, but who's offering that? Not Finn. Steffi argues they should try and do everything possible to keep him then. Donna pleads with Ridge to hear to his son. Ridge is hearkening to all of them. He's trying to figure this out. He collapsed moment, and if not for croakers, he'd be gone right now. He made his peace with that. Ridge questions if he's playing God. What's Donna doing? Ultramodern drug hey, is amazing. What if that life doesn't life? want to be saved. My pater doesn't want this. He told me he didn't want this, he told you. He didn't want this. But then, this one, Ridge loves that Vin is trying to change the course of commodity. But he doesn't want him using his pater as a mortal experience. He's been with his pater reaver. You know what I want? I want him to leave this earth with some quality. Do not you? He asks Donna. That's my decision. Everyone cries. Donna says her final goodbye to her honey bear. It's an emotional day for Donna Logan. Two images of Donna with Eric at the sanitarium. Donna prepares to say farewell to Eric Forrester. Click to partake on Facebook. Click to partake on Twitter. Click to telegraph a link to a friend. Up the bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, December 13, 2023. Promise a towel. Good day as Donna says farewell to the love sure to bring gashes to everyone's eyes. Bold and the beautiful spoilers highlights Donna is understandably agonized at the study of losing Eric. She just eventually won him back after times of stewing for his love. Sorely, their love seems to be short, lived as he's fading down briskly than anyone could imagine. Farewell, my love, Ridge arranges for Donna to have time alone to say her final farewells. It's a gut-wrenching time for everyone and Donna isn't taking a single second for granted. Time is limited and she needs Eric to know how important she adores him one further time. Take a look back on the onset of their affair to then. fall as she relays her sincere communication to her man. Eric is her heart, her soul, and utmost of all, her honey bear. He's all she ever wanted or demanded, and she can't imagine a world without him. Still, will he forgive Ridge if Eric survives? Is this actually farewell, however? Finn thinks he has a result. There are no numerous options left, and this may not work, moreover. As far as the doc is concerned, this is worth a shot. It's three. It's a last nanosecond Hail Mary. But an experimental procedure is better than giving up, right? In case you're before on the bold and the beautiful, let Soapub help catch you up on all the rearmost Los Angeles happenings. Each weekend, we publish the daily update that lets you know the biggest effects that went down and helps you to understand where the show is now.